Hello dear students, welcome back to Physics Online session. In last chapter, we discussed the concept related to electrodynamics. So in case of that electrodynamics, already we come to know about that current means the rate of flow of charge, we can call it as current here. It means that when the charge particle is moving from that one point to another point, current will get produced here. So in that next chapter, we'll understand that one more properties of that electrodynamics. So that is when the charge particle is moving from that one point to another point along with the current one more field is going to produce now let me introduce about that field here for example in case of electrostatics so again i will take back you to the first chapter for example if it is one charge particle around the charge particle what kind of field will get present here so that field is electric field what kind of field it is it is electric field here the reason around a point charge within which influence can be experienced so that is about electric field now let me introduce that one more field in case of that charge particle when the charge particle is under the motion here so before going to enter into that fourth chapter let me explain that Oersted experiment Oersted is the name of the scientist he discovered that properties of that electrodynamics so he took that one small experiment let me explain about that Oersted experiment then we'll give title for that fourth chapter here now let me start about that Oersted experiment here Oersted experiment okay in case of that Oersted experiment, Oersted is the name of the scientist. He gave that a, a property of that electrodynamics. It means that in case of that electrodynamics, he considered that what are the properties of the charges when the charge is under the motion. In current electricity, we come to know that when the charge is under the motion, current will get produced. So that is electric current, we can say. Along with that of electric current, one more property is going to introduce in case of Oersted experiment. For example, in order to understand about that, sorry, in order to understand about that Oersted experiment, he considered that, for example, he took one magnetic needle or magnetic compass you can say so magnetic compass means it consists of two pole one is north pole another one is a south pole here for example let me take that one wire here that wire is connected to battery for example this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal of the battery here i will connect to that one wire here that battery is giving connection to one conducting wire now current i is flowing from that a to b here what is the direction of current here current i is flowing from that point a to point b now <coughs> nearby this conductor i will place one magnetic needle here for example this is the magnetic needle right so this is magnetic needle so this magnetic needle consists of south pole and north pole here this magnetic needle i will take near to that of wire here so did you get my point in order to understand that oersted experiment first i consider one battery here this battery will give connection to that of conducting wire ab current is flowing from that a to b here so this is one small circuit i consider here now nearby this circuit i will take one magnetic needle here that magnetic needle consists of north pole as well as south pole here this needle will get deflect only in presence of magnetic field did you get my point when this needle will get deflect here for example this is magnetic needle right for example this is one magnet i can take when the magnet is comes very much closer to the magnetic needle look at here this is one magnet right so this magnet consists of north pole as well as south pole about that magnet will de in detail we are going to understand in a fifth chapter for my consideration i will take small take use of that magnet here so in case of that magnetic needle i will take one magnet here bar magnet you can take that magnet i will take closer to the magnetic needle when the magnet is comes very much closer to the needle then needle will get starts deflect here this needle will get starts deflect here 
why the needle will get starts deflect here why because there is a presence of magnet here so this is north pole for example this is south pole like that like charges will get repel and unlike charges will get attract in the similar manner like poles will get repel unlike poles will get attract here north and north pole will get repel here north and south pole will get attract here so that is a quite common you can take it here whenever this magnet comes very much closer to the magnetic needle then this needle will get starts vibrate here why the needle will get starts vibrate here because of the presence of the magnet because of the presence of the magnet magnetic needle will get vibrate here why the needle will get vibrate here i said because of the presence of the magnet what's the importance of that magnet here that same thing in case of that electric field as i said that the reason around the point charge within which influence can be experienced it means that the reason around the charge so that reason we can call it as electric field did you get my point nearby the charge certain kind of field is there that field is due to charge so that field i can call it as electric field here what's that electric field here in case of that electric field the reason surrounded by the charge so that field i can take it as electric field in the similar way the reason around the magnet so this reason i can call it as magnetic field so i will introduce one more term here that is magnetic field here then what's the mean of magnetic field here what's the mean of magnetic field then then magnetic field means the reason around a magnet within which influence can be experienced the similar thing what do you mean by that magnetic field here the reason around a magnet within which influence can be experienced so now look at here when you take this magnet near to the needle then what happens here this magnet consists of magnetic needles so this magnet consists of magnet sorry this magnet consists of magnetic field right sorry this magnet consists of magnetic field so this magnetic field is affected by this needle here did you get my point because of the presence of magnetic field this needle will get starts deflect here so what is the reason for deflecting this needle here the needle will get deflect only because of the presence of magnetic field whenever there exists a magnetic field then the needle will get deflect here so the primary thing you have to remember when this needle will get deflect here if there exist any magnetic field if there exist any magnetic field then needle will de get deflect then needle will get deflect when the needle will get deflect here when there exist a magnetic field then only needle will get deflect here so this is about magnetic needle here hope you understand about that magnetic needle this magnetic needle i will use in a oersted experiment come to bite here look at here in case in case of that oersted experiment i consider on battery I connected to that of conducting wire current is flowing from a to b right now near to this wire i will take magnetic needle i will place that magnetic needle near to the wire here so this is magnetic needle okay this magnetic needle i will take near to the wire right this is north pole and this is south pole here okay now current is not flowing here for example i open this key here just i use that key here now that key is open this is the position of the magnetic needle that magnetic needle is in this position right now i will close the key here if i close the key then what happens here current is starts flowing into the circuit i amount of current is starts flowing into the wire here now whenever the current is flowing into that wire ab look at here whatever the magnetic needle i placed nearby this wire this magnetic needle will get starts deflect here did you get my point look at here in case of orsted experiment whenever the current is flowing through wire ab here through wire ab certain amount of current is flowing right nearby this wire i will place one magnetic needle here then what happens here this magnetic needle will get starts deflect here so first thing i can understand 
understand here why this needle will get deflect here did you get my point what's the reason for deflecting this magnetic needle here did you get my question here the magnetic needle will get deflect only because of the presence of magnetic field just now we discuss about this the reason for deflecting the magnetic needle is just because of it means just because if there exists any kind of magnetic field then only needle will get deflect here right the reason for deflecting the needle is there must exist a magnetic field but here i didn't take any magnet here so just i consider on battery here conducting wire ab is there in that wire current is flowing so in this experiment i am not going to use any magnet here so if i am not using the magnet even though this needle will get deflect here what will be the reason for this deflecting the needle so the reason for deflecting the needle is whenever charge is moving current will get produced so in that previous chapter we got the thing right along with the current magnetic field is also produced here did you get my point here needle will get starts deflect means there must be a presence of magnetic field here nearby this wire there will be a magnetic field because of the presence of the magnetic field this needle will get vibrate here means this needle will get deflect here the reason for deflecting the magnetic needle is there must exist a magnetic field where the magnetic field comes in this experiment here here i am not using magnet here even though magnetic field is exist how the magnetic field is exist in this experiment that magnetic field is exist in the experiment it is just because of moving charges here look at here here current is flowing means charge is moving from that one point to another point right whenever the charge particle is moving current is also produced along with the current magnetic field is also going to produce here for example when the charge particle is moving around any current carrying conductor did you get my point whenever that charge particle is moving or whenever that current is flowing through any wire around that wire magnetic field will get exist here so remember one thing a moving charge not only produce the current moving charge can produce the magnetic field even so did you get my point so from this experiment we come to know that moving charge can produce the magnetic field so just because of this moving charge here needle will get starts deflect here the reason for deflecting the needle is whenever that charge particle is moving current is produced along with the current there exists a magnetic field nearby this wire nearby the wire magnetic field is exist here why the magnetic field is exist here magnetic field is exist just because of moving charges then what's the conclusion i can get from this oersted experiment from the oersted experiment i am believing that current carrying conductor means the reason the nearby current carrying conductor magnetic field is also produced and one more thing a moving charge can produce the magnetic field what is the conclusion i will get from the oersted experiment here the conclusion from the oersted experiment is moving charge can produce the magnetic field in that last chapter we discuss about the current in this chapter we will be speaking about that moving charges and magnetism It it means that moving charge can also exhibit that magnetic field then we will look at that what are the properties of the magnetic field when that charge particle is moving then magnetic field will get produce here let me start our fourth chapter that fourth chapter is moving charges and magnetism what's that fourth chapter here that fourth chapter is moving charges and magnetism let me name the chapter here moving charges and magnetism moving charges and magnetism what's the mean of that moving charges if the charge particle is moving along with the current magnetic field is also produced here then what's the mean of that magnetic field i need to understand here what do you mean by that magnetic field here what's the mean of magnetic field 
that magnetic field is represented by the symbol B here. What is the symbolical representation of the magnetic field here? That symbolical representation of the magnetic field is B. Then how will you define that magnetic field here? The reason around a current carrying conductor or the reason around a magnet we can call it as magnetic field here. What's the mean of magnetic field here? The reason around the reason around around current carrying conductor the reason around current carrying conductor the reason around current carrying conductor or magnet the reason around the magnet or the reason around a current carrying conductor is known as magnetic field is known as magnetic field so this one is experienced by that of Oersted experiment so let me recall that Oersted experiment here i will take wire a b here in that wire a b current is flowing from a to b here then what happens here when the current is flowing in that wire from a to b this needle will get deflect here this needle will get deflect for example that north pole means north pole of the needle is getting deflected towards the wire at b south pole will get out of the wire a here for example whenever that i amount of current is flowing from that a to b what is the direction of current here current is moving from a to b then magnetic needle is for example this is the needle i said magnetic needle is moving our magnetic needle is deflecting north pole of the magnetic needle is deflecting towards the wire did you get my point north pole of the magnetic needle is deflecting towards the wire if suppose i will reverse the direction of the current look at here wire a b is there now current is moving from b to a what is the direction of the current here the direction of current is b to a here in this situation the needle will get deflect again but the deflection is in opposite direction when the current is flowing from a to b north pole of the magnetic needle is deflecting towards the wire here right now the current is moving from that b to a means again the needle will show deflection but that deflection is in opposite direction whatever the deflection you can consider here that deflection is in opposite direction for example this is the needle north pole of the needle is moving away from the wire and south pole of the needle is moving towards the wire or towards the point a here look at here if the current is moving from a to b needle will get deflect here if that current is moving from b to a again the needle will get deflect here but in these two cases needle is getting deflect in a opposite direction in which direction that a needle is getting deflect here in that first case north pole of the magnetic needle is moving towards the wire at point b here when the current is moving from b to a north pole of the needle is moving away from the point b here what's the conclusion i will get it from this oersted experiment here from that oersted experiment the main conclusion i will get that from oersted experiment is the the reason for deflecting the needle is there must be a magnetic field right whenever there exists a magnetic field then only needle will starts deflect here but here i am not taking any magnet here even though needle is getting deflect means there will be a presence of magnetic field here how this magnetic field get occurs here just because of moving charges it means that moving charges can exhibit that magnetic field property whenever the current is flowing in any conducting wire around that wire magnetic field is also exist in case of that any wire if that for example treat this is one wire means if that current is flowing in this wire means around this current carrying conductor there must be a presence of magnetic field here also there exists a magnetic field because of the presence of the magnetic field these needle will get deflect here so this is about oersted experiment so from that oersted experiment we may come to know that moving charges can exhibit the magnetic field here look at here moving charge 
moving charge can exhibit moving charge can exhibit magnetic field from the magnet also we will get the magnetic field but from that moving charge we will get the magnetic field so that is moving charges and magnetism so in in this chapter we will be focusing on what are the properties of the charges when the charge particle is moving so we got that that pro, what are the properties i will get it here when the charge particle is moving around that charge particle there will be a magnetic field so now in this chapter we will be focusing on that 